I looked at this earlier, I was very nosy, um, but if, if it's okay if you don't remember, because I know. How many hours have you spent playing this game, Aubrey? Oh, dear. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> 3,249 hours. <laughs> that is that is approximately 3,249 hours more than I have. So you are what we call in art language a bob, which is... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and you be. <laughs> I'm learning already. This is amazing. <laughs> so it will probably be safer to do our own private thing. The only um, disadvantage of that is that we will be tethered to each other. So that means that we can't like move too far away from each other. So are you saying that not only am I going to be like a metaphorical ball and chain in this series, but I'm a literal ball and chain? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I think if I host it uh, and you wander off too far, you will be dragged back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I think I'm going to need it. That sounds perfect. With arc, with making characters. <laughs> I don't know if this is still a thing, but I always make my character the smallest possible character because there's less of a hitbox. Oh my god, that's genius. <laughs> I'm gonna make mine like I don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna set everything to small and see what that looks like. So currently he's just got a very tiny head, which is <laughs> tremendous. I'm quite a big fan of that. Um Oh my god, the like torso width. Jeez. <laughs> you can make some real weird characters. All right, I know what I'm exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going <laughs> to... Jesus. <gasps> no, hold on. Tiny, tiny body, but really long legs. That's what I'm going to go for. All right, let's... Oh, oh yeah, we're next oh, to each oh, other. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> hi. I look right, so let's, terrifying. Um, I'll invite you to the tribe. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Perfect. Right. I, so. I'm so much taller than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. I'll uh, be like, look out. Our tribe is now called Fed No Expense. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right, so welcome to the island. It's so bright. <laughs> yeah. So what's the first thing we got to do then? Got to pick up some rocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> are these just these ones on the ground? Yeah, oh, d d just pick up some loose rocks and then oh. hit a few trees. How do I pick up rocks? <laughs> Uh, oh, press E. Oh, I figured it out. I was pe I was looking at the wrong size rock. And you can cut from these bushes here. You can oh, get some like stuff. berries and stuff. Okay. <laughs> that looks so painful. <laughs> it really hurts. <laughs> like in Minecraft, it always looks kind of cute, but then in this, it's just ah. <laughs> it just looks so ah. <laughs> it's so horrible. <laughs> I genuinely don't like watching that. <laughs> okay, so now you've got a little bit of thatch and wood mm -hmm. and stuff. So if you press Ooh. I, you can like level up. Basically, just put in all of your points into health because that's that what's going to... That sounds like a tremendous yeah. idea. On top of your inventory, there's like a backpack mm -hmm. and like some hexagons and stuff. So if you click uh -huh. the hexagons, that's engrams. So that's basically what you can make at that level. And you oh, have gotcha. to like okay. learn stuff to be able to make it. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm starting off with just pickaxes making... and torches, and then yeah, like a stone wanted... pick and a stone hatchet and a spear. That they're, they're your go-to items, and then to craft them, you press V to go into craft. V. Yeah. Okay. I scrolled right to the bottom of the engrams, and I can just see like turrets and flamethrowers and stuff. So <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> just gonna... I don't know how much of anything we need. Oh, look, our first animal. What have we got here? Oh my gosh, I didn't know there were dodos in this. Yeah. Oh. Shall I show I you how just... to tame it? I, I thought you were going to say how to kill it. This. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no! So then we got to put some berries in it. So I think I picked up a few berries. There we go. Do you mean feed it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so put berry you, and... you knock it out and then you put berries in its inventory. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can name it. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Um, I don't know what to call it. This is too much responsibility. Um, I'm going to call him Steven. <laughs> okay. I... <laughs> I'm holding him slightly awkwardly. <laughs> You're holding him like he's a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and I can... You... 
in this world. <laughs> what is this game? I didn't expect it to be dodos though. That's pretty cool. I always find. Oh my god! I'm so sorry, Stephen. I tried to. I tried to crouch to get a good look. A better look at him. Oh, are we just admiring Stephen? Yeah. Because that... <laughs> we're gonna need a, a little house and ah, some okay. clothes, and because yeah, otherwise gonna Stephen bring is gonna get eaten, and that will be really sad. Because then we'll lose Stephen. I want to keep Stephen alive for the entire series. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Quick question. How do I drop him? Uh, just click. Oh. And then you ah. chuck. Excellent. All right. So I'm making a foundation. I need some more fiber. So I need to collect that from the bushes. Ah. So of the berries, you can eat most of them. I would... Avoid eating the black ones, the narco berries, because they will knock you out. Um, okay. Or the stim berries, which give you extra stamina, but they make you really, really thirsty. So. Gotcha. Yeah. This is all information that I need, because I would just panic and just shovel everything into my mouth. Do you want to have a little base down by the water, or...? Well, where is a good place to build? Like, are we okay to build here, or do we need to, like, find like, higher ground or anything like that? Is that there's no, like method to it so, it's just kind of wherever as a first base um when we're like on this sort of low technology tier we don't need any metal or anything like that so we can gotcha. basically build wherever okay um so it doesn't really matter too much this is a reasonably safe area if we go more inland mm. Mm -hmm. it will be less safe Gotcha, okay. Well, this is quite cool. We got like a kind of natural walls around us anyway, so let's do it. Um Okay. Oh my god, you're away. It appeared! <laughs> Magic! <laughs> How the hell did you do that? I crafted um, some thatch foundations, which is what you need to start off with. So oh. with the... There are sort of different tiers of technology. So you start off with thatch, and thatch bases, and then you go on to wood, and then stone, and then metal. And mm. then eventually, like, the ultimate tier, the tech tier. But that's, like, yeah, that's... <laughs> we're a ways off from that. We're we? a long way away from that. Can we have a window here so we can, like, look out across the water at the various creatures? Or is that not possible? Uh, <laughs> we might have to be slightly higher tier for that. Aww. How long have you been playing this game for, by the way? Like, So I've been playing it mm. since it um, came out really mm -hmm. is a early access game so 2015 oh wow yeah a long time because it's one of those games it's the one that comes up the most frequently like when i'm doing any form of outreach or anything like that it's the one that like especially kids will always reference i remember once being in the manchester museum and someone coming up to me and asking like how do you tame like the Giganotosaurus or something like that? I'm Aww. just being completely baffled by it. I've done whole talks to like schools, and I've had kids be like, "Oh, I already knew this. I've played Ark." Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I find it so fascinating, and then I think it has a lot of bad rep, which is why I'm really glad that you're here. Because if I was doing this video on my own, I would just run around and be a big like whinge about how everything looks really strange and is overly designed and kind of monsterified. So I'm really glad that we've got a paleontologist who genuinely loves this game. That's so much better. Yeah, it's, um, mm -hmm. I mean, there are some things that are just like, it's, it has got more and more like monsterify as uh, yeah. you go on through the game's history, which I don't really like that much. I like this whole like survive the dinosaurs in the middle of nowhere, desert island sort of thing. This is, this island map is like the basic stuff and it has the most sort of normal dinosaurs. There's not really any mythical beings or weird things. Yeah, because that's all I know about this game is that it's just this weird mismatch of different creatures from different time periods as well as from like fiction. Like we've got a visitor outside the uh, house right now. There's a triceratops just wandering around. And it's, you know, it's not too bad, but it's just got all these, like, weird extraneous little spikes and studs and things on it, which just aren't in the fossil record. I think that's just going to be the thing 
throughout this is you just look at the creatures and go, why did you add that? Yeah. In I played a game called Second Extinction, and in that they're all supposed to be like mutants. That's the justification for why they all look so terrible. But in that game it makes sense, because you're fighting off a horde of monsters. If they were portrayed as genuinely real animals, that is a very different game. That is a game about, you know, slaughtering an ecosystem as opposed to uh, defending your base from the monsters. Whereas this game, because it's a bit more survival focused, you'd think it makes sense to have them be a bit more, you know, realistic and a bit less monsterified, but I guess not. And it's a, it's just strange. I have bad news, by the way. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> Best eat some uh, berries then, just make sure you pick the right ones. Okay, here we go. So the Narca berries, are they the ones that will hurt me? Yeah, they'll knock you out. <laughs> okay. Uh, the red ones look nice. I'm just gonna... Consume. Oh, those eating noises are great. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... Oh my gosh, it's like right in my ears. Yeah. Oh, and delicious. my ears. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, sorry. You're not going to get eaten today, Stephen. I see you've got some clothes, so I'm a little bit jealous of your clothes, so I'm going to go and make some. Oh, would you like a hat? I accidentally made two. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, I'm getting attacked! Ah, run! <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> Just run! I don't know where you are. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh no! <laughs> it's ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> okay. Oh, where are we at? <laughs> All right. We, we killed it. Well, I killed it. We we killed it. <laughs> <laughs> what did we kill? Peg Mastix. Ah, hello. Drag body. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these guys are kind of cute, but they are really annoying because they steal things from you and run away. But um, Oh, really? Yeah. Very, oh my god, why am I making so many gross noises? What do I need? Oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> um... Just go to the water and press E, but beware nice. of piranhas. Okay. Ah. Huh. <laughs> My character's just grunting and no food seems to be doing me any good. Well, I went hunting and murdered a dodo, so... It, <laughs> it wasn't Steven, but I do have some meat. That's good. Mm -hmm. Which is <laughs> well, better eat eating well <laughs> than berries. <laughs> <laughs> How do I um, give you my hat, by the way? Ah, dropped. There we go. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a hat. Oh. oh. Oh, well. I don't know if it's going to backfire in the future, but I've decided that my character will never wear, like, trousers because I want the world to see his huge legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will probably backfire at some point. All right, well, I'll keep that bit going for now and then um, <laughs> I'll bail on that. God, I'm so hungry. This door door better be done soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, before you could like adjust the light and dark settings, it was absolutely terrifying playing Ark at night time because you saw uh -huh. nothing. Like, literally <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so I'd just like spend the whole night inside my house, like, I hope nothing gets me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I could give you some glasses. <gasps> that would be amazing. So you can, you just have to put it on your hat. <laughs> I love your hat so much. <laughs> okay, one second. They're even Nedry glasses, or ne no, sorry, oh they're nerdy goodness. glasses. I thought it said Nedry oh. for a second there, I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh, that would have been great. I just realized I actually already have a pair, I didn't even notice. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I look excellent though. <laughs> just, my character illuminated by the fire is something else. <laughs> I'm so scary. Yeah, yeah, you kind of are a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, don't look, Stephen. <laughs>